Rockdale County deputies responded to a um, shooting. It was at the Lake St. James apartment complex in Conyers. Um, uh, upon deputies' arrival, um, they observed the male, black male, lying on the ground suffering from a gunshot wound. Unfortunately, the uh, victim did die on the scene. Mr. Morel Orr, which is the victim, I believe his name was Trouble. Um, he is a Atlanta rapper was visiting a female friend at the um, complex. Um, and Mr. Jamichael Jones um, did know the female and it was a domestic situation. I, I wouldn't say that this has anything to do with the area. Um, I think it was an isolated situation. It was a domestic situation. Um, we are asking the public for their help in locating uh, Jamichael Jones. Um, he is from the Atlanta Jonesboro area that we know of. The current um, warrants that we do have um, for the um, Jermichael su uh, suspect um, is we have home invasion. So that does tell you that he was at home. Um, and, well, he entered a home, I'm sorry. Um, we have felony murder um, and we also have aggravated assault. All right, so we're gonna get right into it. Trouble, dead at 34, senseless murder female involved you know just just you know just pure pure pure, uh, pure, pure chaos man um, we gotta do better you know from both from both perspectives um we gotta do better um from both sides rather from what I'm hearing is that the fact that uh there was a dispute that took place at the house. The suspect was actually uh, in a relationship with the young lady. Uh, they broke up uh, probably about a week prior to the incident taking place with Trouble. <clears throat> Whether Trouble was knowledgeable of it or not, that's neither here nor there. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is when it comes to the point to where a gun gets put into the situation, and a life is taken. So, we got to look at it like this. When it comes down to it, fellas, it ain't no reason to be pulling no gun out, man. Your lady do some trifling, man, get to stepping, man. Keep it moving. That's about the best thing you can do for yourself. We ain't got time to be going back and forth and going, you know, and, and you know, essentially that's what took place. You know, um, homie, homie emotions got the best of him, and um, he lashed out. And in no circumstances should we be moving that way. So we got to do better. We got to do better. We got to be able to control our emotions, even when faced with circumstances that may not be in our favor. Because we got to understand that the cards are stacked against us. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot allow your emotions to create a, a circumstance where you putting yourself in harm's way and others in harm's way. Especially over situations that are that 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 are that are beyond you, that are that are out of your control. And when we talk about a, another human being, you know, reference to this female doing whatever she did as far as meeting up or or, or or you know, being around trouble and having them at the residence, you still have to be able to stand your ground and hold your and hold yourself as a man. All right. So what the story says is that trouble and a young lady may have engaged in some activities, some adult activities. After the activities, he wound up, you know, basically falling asleep. Him and the young lady. The suspect kicked the door and basically uh, made his way into the room. Um. 
And as far as it said, as of now, uh, Trouble woke up to the young lady getting beaten on. Trouble being the man that he is, she stood up for the woman. Uh, and, you know, basically put hands on, on, on homie. In the midst of doing that, homie pulled out a weapon and discharged one bullet. Ultimately, um, leaving trouble to be deceased. So we got to say this. When do we stop this senseless murders? When do we check ourselves? When do we say enough is enough? We got to realize, man. It's better to see tomorrow. Now, I'm going to tell it to you like this. Shemichael, the suspect, he going to try to fight this one. But I'm going to tell you too, like this, the, start, the, the, the cards are stacked against him. All right, it's going to take a lot to get out of this situation. All right, there's a casualty. All right, there's a, the, the, there's a domestic dispute. You know, you got this female that's caught up in this situation in whatever way. Um, you know, have, have a way to cookie crumble, man. Um, it's messy. It is messy. It shows that there's that, that, that there's no there's no real mature uh, decision making taking place. It shows that there's wild tactics taking place. So now we gotta we we gotta figure out how do we move from here. And now you gotta explain to the to them people. You know, you, you got to explain to that to that courtroom. You know, the reason for your actions, and pray that you know that this this young lady, your your ex or your or your lady, you know, hold you down, man. And I, and, and I doubt it. Because when it all come down to it, man, she made the decision to do what she did. She 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 may or may not have knew that the outcome was gonna come out the way it was gonna be, but at the end of the day, she was moving wow. She was moving free. She didn't have him and you know have him in thought, and ultimately he he lashed out. And we gotta control our emotions. We got it. We gotta control it, man. So I send my condolences out to Trouble's family, man. And I and, and true and truth be told, man, I send my condolences out to this to, to to the suspect, man. Because regards to whatever, man, you know, this situation wasn't something, in my opinion, as far as looking at it, isn't a situation where, you know, he 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 he, he was, you know, um, hunting down trouble, you know, in, in a hateful way towards what he had. So this situation is is is, is a bit different. But we can't, you know, we can't, you know, put aside, you know, the fact that a life was taken because that, that still took place. But at the end of the day, I'm going to say, man, I send my condolences to him, man, and his family, uh, trouble and, and the suspect, man, because, you know, they was caught up in the situation. And we got to move better as black men, man. We, we got to move. We got to move better as men, period. You understand what I'm saying? Enough is enough, man. Stand for something or fall for anything. It's your boy King Rich, man. We out.